Hello everyone, Delhi Development Authority has released the official notification for direct requirement of architectural assistant uh, for the year 2023. So as per the official advertisement and the official notification, there are a total of 9 posts which Delhi Development Authority is recruiting directly through a single stage uh, selection process. So in Delhi Development, so this is a level 7 job. Uh, DDA generally for level 7 jobs directly requires uh, uh, the requirement process is through a single stage selection process which is basically only the written examination. So Delhi DDA has released the important dates and the notification and uh, they are going to recruit 9 architectural assistants using this through this process of requirement examination in this video. So this is an introductory video for this particular post for this particular examination. In this video we will be going through all the important points important details which you need to know as per the official notification of DDA architectural assistant examination the details of the syllabus and also how we at KP classes are going to help you prepare for this examination so with keeping this particular course this particular exam in mind we have launched a, a preparatory coaching program for DDA architectural assistant the classes the first batch is starting from uh, 4th of this uh, June uh, so you can enroll into the classes and uh, in this video we will also go discuss those videos how are we going to help you prepare for this examination so without any further delay let us first go through the important dates for this particular examination so uh, as per the official notification released uh, on the website of DDA uh, the uh, the, the link for application, the portal for application, uh, the registration portal, the opening date and time as per the official notification are 10 a.m. 3rd of uh, June, 3rd June 2023. That's when the application portal will be live. The application portal will be open for a duration of one month. Uh, so approximately till 7th uh, so, so, 2nd of uh, July that's the application uh, window for this particular post tentative date for the examination the exact date is not yet given but the tentative uh, duration between which the examination would be give, uh, uh, conducted is between 1st of August to 30th of September so it would be in the month of August or September tentatively now considering that it would be around mid August or say in the beginning of September so within the given time window, if you consider it is somewhere midway, we still have around three months of time for the preparation. So uh, we are starting this batch, keeping uh, having this time horizon in mind within two and a half to three months, we will try to cover the entire syllabus for this DD examination in detail in the live online classes. I will discuss the syllabus details as well. But uh, keep in mind though, so it is very important when you're targeting for a requirement as particularly competitive exams in the area of uh, selection for government jobs. It is very important that you have the time horizon and a proper strategy for your preparation. Having that in mind is very important. So have the time horizon in your mind. You still have around three months uh, by the time Time we are releasing this video probably you will be having around two to two and a half to three months of time so that's the tentative schedule these are the important dates so it has it has been mentioned that the ten, the dates are tentative exact dates would be uh, released on the official website of dda on regular basis stay updated uh, uh, with the notifications being released on dds portal you can also uh, subscribe to our youtube channel and all other social media uh, handles to get regular updates in this context uh, one other point stage two dates are not yet are to be notified However, for this particular post architectural assistant, there is no stage 2 as per the notification. It is only one stage requirement process through only examination. There is no interview. So if you do well in the examination, if you get good marks in the examination, you can directly get selected. So that is uh, something to be kept in mind. So that's with respect to the important dates. Now moving on to the exam pattern. Now before we look into the syllabus, you need to understand what is the pattern of the test. So as I told you, it is only one stage exam. That is an online test, computer based test will be conducted. Uh, uh, the requirement is only uh, one stage process as far as the exam pattern is considered as per the official notification. So even in the past, even in the year 2019, even in the year 2020, 2021. So whenever DDA has conducted exam in the past five years, it has always been a similar pattern. There will be 120, even this time also in the official notification, the same pattern is given. The exam will be for two hours, 120 minutes. There will be 120 questions. Each question will have one mark weightage. So it will be 120 marks. <coughs> That's the exam pattern to put it in simple terms. 
120 minutes, 120 questions, 120 marks. So in the examination, so this is where, uh, so it's important to understand that it is an exam where on an average, you will have one minute per question. So in order to score well in this, but in such patterns, in some, in such exams, you should have enough practice, very important to focus on practice for the next two and a half to three months. Uh, so keeping that in mind, we also have designed our structure in such a way that you'll have a lot of practice questions during the course of your preparation. Uh, so that's with respect to the exam pattern. One last crucial point with respect to exam pattern, which you have to remember is negative marking. There will be negative marking for wrong answer. If you select the wrong answer or if you select multiple options, it is written in the official notification. Only one answer, all the questions are MCQ type. So if you select multiple options, you will lose, you will get negative marking. All the questions, 120 questions are MCQ type. The, if for wrong answers, there is a negative marking of minus 0 0.33. One third of the weightage will be lost uh, uh, as per the uh, notification. That's the exam pattern. Uh, so there are two parts, part one and part two. Part one is core subject of architecture. Part two, I'll you, take you through the syllabus. But part one has 80 questions. Majority of the weightage is for the architecture based topics. 40 marks is for general aptitude, general awareness, English and current affairs. So uh, not current affairs, but general awareness. That's what is a part of your syllabus. So let me take you through the syllabus as well. So that's the exam pattern. Remember that there is negative marking in this examination for incorrect. If you leave out, if you read the question and if you don't know the answer, if you do not attempt it, you will not lose any marks but if you have an incorrect attempt you will lose one third of the mark that is 0 0.33 that's with respect to exam pattern now coming to the most important part exam syllabus as per the official notice so dda in the on the official in the as a part of the official notification they have also released the detailed syllabus for this examination so there are two parts as i have earlier mentioned to you part one which is architecture based topics so all the concepts related to architecture basics related to architecture are a part of syllabus for this exam so whatever you study in your bachelor's of your architecture the eligibility for the tech for this exam is eligible uh, br bachelor's in architecture with uh, registration with council of architecture that's also important so uh, uh, everything which you study in your BR is a part of the syllabus almost so except for the planning based topics there is no urban planning urban housing you don't have planning based transportation you do not have those planning based topics but all the architecture topics are a part of the syllabus so it, as per the official notification there are a total of eight points mentioned each point has been elaborately mentioned also like uh, if you look into history of architecture point f within history of architecture what are the uh, various civilizations you need to study all that is mentioned in the official syllabus so if you look into part one the various uh, topics it ranges from architectural design theory and practice which includes the basic concepts of principles of design and uh, related concepts to architectural design then you have uh, building construction surveying and structure which includes building material, building structures, surveying and leveling, and also st uh, structures where shear force bending moment and some IS codes related to it. That's a part of the syllabus in the second section. Then you have professional practice, building norms and approvals. This is specific to Delhi. You have ma master plan of Delhi, De the unified bylaws of Delhi. All these are part of the section three. Then you have building services, which includes topics like solid waste management, water supply, plumbing, sewerage, and all. Uh, then you have environmental studies, which includes topics like uh, ecosystems, environmental pollution, natural resources. So that's the part of the fourth section. Then you have history of architecture, where you have study of all the ancient civilizations and also contemporary architecture. Some architects also have been mentioned. The, architect, the works of those architects you need to study as well as a part of your syllabus. Then you have computer applications, which includes understanding of basic software like CAD, Photoshop, SketchUp and all. Then you have architectural graphics, which includes topics of scale uh, or say color theory. Uh, all these concepts related to gra uh, graphics are also a part of your syllabus perspective and all. So that's an elaborate syllabus for the architecture part. So from part one, you will have a total of 80 marks. That is 80 questions. Now, uh, the remaining 40 questions will be from part 2. So, part 2 will have 40 questions. These 40 questions are divided into 4 topics, 10 each, 10 questions on reasoning, 10 questions on quantitative aptitude, 10 questions on general awareness and 10 questions on basic English or English language. So, that's about the syllabus for the examination which, which uh, 80, 80 marks for the architecture topics, 40 marks for the general awareness, quant and reasoning based topics along with verbal ability that is English. So understanding the syllabus, dividing your time accordingly, selecting your core uh, strong areas, 
which are you weak in which are you strong at so selecting your strong points working accordingly is very crucial for the next two to three months for this dd architectural assistant that's with respect to syllabus uh, so we have uh, prepared a structure so based on the analysis of the past exam pattern of dda so uh, for the last five years many of our classrooms we always conduct dda requirement uh, coaching classes uh, so for from our coaching classes a lot of students have uh, are already working in delhi, delhi Devel development authority after successfully getting selected through the requirement test so based on the inputs from uh, our successful students in the past based on the past exam pattern and based on the exam syllabus so the syllabus is more or less the same like the last year few new additions like project management have, are seen in the new pattern uh, but most of the 95% of the syllabus is same as the last time syllabus. So considering all these inputs of the past pattern and the exam syllabus of this year, we have uh, designed a, a course curriculum for these three months of duration, which will help you clear this examination where we are having live online classes starting from 4th of this June. Uh, so, uh, that's the first batch. So you can enroll into the classes, all the details of those batches. You can get in touch with us and uh, get those details from our counselors. Uh, so we have created a set of five books for preparation for Delhi Development Authority Architectural Assistant particularly. So you can, so when you enroll into the classes, you will also get this set of five books in the printed hard copy study material of five books you will get uh, we, where all the eight sections and also the quantum reasoning part. So we have divided all the complete syllabus into five books. We have structured it into five books, which include environmental study, serving, leveling, building structures and building services, infrastructure, quant, building materials, construction structures, and also history and design of graphics. So we have a set of five books, which will cover the entire syllabus. So in addition to the classes, you can refer to the study material set and uh, which will help you clear this examination uh, very easily. How are we, what are the resources we are going to provide you in this course or how are we at KP cl classes going to help you prepare for this particular examination. So it's a four step approach. We start with live online classes. So the classes will be scheduled at a convenient time in the evening hours so that you can attend the classes even after your uh, after attending a personal engagement like office or any other uh, work you have. So live online classes where we will be having approximately six to 10 hours depending on the uh, week as we move ahead, as we come close. So the date of the exam is not yet out. Whenever the exam is being conducted accordingly, we will we might increase the hours, but six to ten hours per week, uh, approximately. That's the duration which we are going to spend on. You will be having live online classes till the exam date. So till we complete the entire syllabus, if required, we might increase the number of hours to cover the entire syllabus. Then we have a recorded backup of all the classes. So if you miss out any lecture, because it is uh, we have a short span, so we have a lot of classes. Uh, scheduled so if you miss out because there are regular classes if you miss out some lecture you can also attend that or if you have any doubt you can also rewatch that recording on the mobile app kp gate classes mobile app we also have the test series prepared which will have a set of mocks and also sectional text test mocks are basically the two hour examinations with 120 questions that is to help you uh, to develop that state of mind required to clear the examination and you also have section topic wise tests as well. So the, the test series will include around 2000 plus questions which you can practice during the course of next few months. So uh, approximately six to 700 questions per month. That's what your target should be. I told you already, practice is the most crucial thing which will help you clear this examination. So you can practice the tests given in the test series for your self confidence. And finally, you also have the study material set as I told you, where you can focus on your self study other than the classes. So this post study approach for each and every subject will be having classes with recorded backup for your revision, test series and study material. So you, these are the resources which we are going to provide to you. you uh, so as far as the exam is considered, understanding or strategizing the syllabus, allotting the time to it, uh, collecting the required resources. These things you can leave it to us because we have experience in that and we can provide that to you. The only thing from your end is making 100% utilizations of the resources which we are providing. So all these, all the resources which we provide right away from live online classes, study material, test series and the recorded backup, everything would be of top notch quality. So that is not something which you need to worry about from your end make sure you put in the invest the required time for these three months which will help you clear this examination so that was a brief uh, idea on what this exam is about what is the pattern syllabus and how we at kp gate classes are going to help you prepare for this examination so if you are planning 
to be an arch architectural assistant at Delhi Development Authority, make sure you enroll into our coaching classes. The details for this course are available in the description of this video. You can click on the link and enroll into our classes or you can also contact us on the number given in the description of this video also given in this uh, given at the bottom uh, panel of this particular video. Get in touch with us and we'll be happy to help you out to clear this examination. Thank you everyone.